So how do you feel now being the big brother of these guys, man? These guys, we done got them, co we got them coached up, didn't we, bro? Yeah. We, we got them coached up. <laughs> See, we got them coached up. We, we did good. We did good. Um, it's just, I mean, come their skills with like our mentoring, it's just, I, they've really taken off. I'm Dr. Chris Eidenberg. Welcome to the class. As usual, we have our reflections every week at video production at Loyola College. Hopefully, you're going to be watching this show. It's going to be a reality show. It's going to be the class. You're going to see us go from zero to 60. With that, the class is going to take over. Guys, let's do it. How crazy is this class? It's not. This class is really cool. It's so different. There was no worst part about the class. So what do you think about the class today? I thought it was fun today. I liked working with the cameras and doing the shots and stuff. That was fun. They're doing their first live shoot in the rain. It's raining. So this is real stuff. None of this fake stuff where you go out and it's a nice sunny day. They got to learn how to adjust. So how did you feel about shooting in the rain? You know, most people who are in the business, they do this. How'd you feel about it though, now that you've done it? I think it was fine. Hopefully the cameras aren't ruined or anything, but I think that we did a good job and... Well, you shot underneath the cover and right. an umbrella and everything. Mm -hmm. But do you, did you get an understanding of what it feels like now when you see the news and it's raining? And much harder than this. Yeah, it's hard, so I give them a lot of credit for shooting in the rain. Good morning. Standard time for a shot. Try to get, try to get seven to ten seconds. And right. someone's trying to get out. Nice. All right. Stand by. Everybody put it in the bag. Oh, Let's good. go. You, were you able to get this building in? Um, it's the we little in. building. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's the one next to Jerry's. Right, that little house. That little, yeah. Okay. I think. Hello. Today is 10 one, right? Two. Ten two. October 2nd. Um, October 2nd. And in class today, we worked on our wraparounds and started our personal group project. Um, everybody take about five minutes and scan through it real quick and ask me if they have any questions and then I'm going to go through it and we can talk because uh, I want you to see this because um, Eric you're here today so what we're going to do is get eight we're going to get two cameras and we're going to actually go through we're going to reenact your shows. What's this show? Going to different locations. Okay. Yeah. What are we doing? This is a special edition because not only will you learn how to shop, you'll learn where to places you can eat. Because you can't, there's a lot of places to go. Okay, are you ready to start? Because I know we're going to have to do more than one take. Yeah. I was on camera. Welcome back. I'm Krista. Hi, I'm Krista. Welcome back. So, welcome back to Make the Most of Maryland. Welcome back to Make the Most of Maryland. I'm Krista. We just finished up at the mall and a couple restaurants where we think you guys would really enjoy. Join us next week when we'll be traveling to White Marsh. Thanks. And I was the producer slash director, and I said things like action, cut, clear. Uh, well, I always forgot the cut, but right, right. Quiet right on the set. So Are we rolling? Uh, do we have speed? Yep. Yeah. Stand by. Three. Hi, I'm Krista. Welcome back to Make the Most of Maryland. Today is a special edition, and we're going to be focusing in on Towson. It's a historical and up-and-coming area. We're going to be focusing in on the mall and key places to eat. So today, we're going to um, start out at the beginning of Towson Mall, walking in a department store called Nordstrom. What? <laughs> Cut! And the rule is don't put the paper in the Be shop. like, at the end, just they be like, know. let's go inside. Okay, yeah, that's what I was going to do. There you go. And don't say focusing on twice. Yeah. It was fun, and we did several different takes, and the other group in the class um, went as well, which was a great thing to show us. Um, like what we were doing wrong and what to do right, and um, gave us some good ideas about what we're going to do with our show. Well, I just want to, I just want to tell you because I know you hate me telling you what to do. So you know I get a kick. You know I, you know I get my jollies off of that part. Krista, you're doing a good job. Just relax. <laughs> Megan, you're doing a good job. Just be you. You guys, you're going to get up here and do what they did, but we're going to after Eric gets one good take. We're going, to, we're going to flip the script, <laughs> and, and the script is going to be you guys. After Eric does one good take, you guys are shooting the rest. They didn't do that. Yeah. Quiet on the set. Are we filming? You got to say stapler. Don't use the stapler. Don't use the stapler. Because then I see it's like half the stapler. Very true. Okay. So quiet on the set. Yes. All right. Sorry. You're doing stuff back there. We rolling. Do we have speed? All right. Action in three. Welcome back. I'm Carrie. On behalf of the new show, You Dress Like a Ho and You Need to Know, 
Uh, today, normally, we would be in Loyola College, but we've changed scenery, and we're in New Jersey, and we're at the biggest party of the summer, looking for people who are inappropriately dressed to tell them that they look like a hoe, and they need to know. So stay with us, and we'll be right back. Cut and clear. Do you something like one, two, three, real quick when okay. you say the cut. And you know what I mean? Because you, you don't want to cut off the cameraman. He'll probably tell you that. You don't want to step on him. Because sometimes, okay. I, I do it sometimes, too. And Wait, you, you don't one, want, two, three, in between what? It's like a quick in your head, and you do one, two, three, or one, two, three, before you say cut. And the reason is, is because that gives them a, a little pad. So if they have to cut it close in the editing, they can. But if you okay. say cut, they can't do it because they got your voice. So give mm -hmm. you a one, two, three, in your mm -hmm. mind or whatever. Everybody happy with that? <laughs> yeah, that was all right. Uh, welcome to our class today. As you know, this is a unique class. It's digital. It's online. Students, I'm very proud of them. They did a great job. With us today is our special guest, Mr. Fred Gluckstein. He's a, an esteemed artist, author, you name it. He does everything. <laughs> and we're going to let him talk about his, you know, we have a tradition here at Loyola about reflections and, how, and what did you get out of the day. So what did you learn today? Well, first of all, I want to thank you for inviting me. I, I don't know that I'm, I can meet all your standards that you just mentioned, but uh, this was a great experience. I didn't really know what to expect. Um, I was highly impressed with all of the students, both in their commitment and their professionalism. And uh, this was a lot of fun. And I think that everybody learned, both from the production side or on the interviewing side. And actually, I learned a lot about thinking on my feet quickly in terms of answering questions that I hadn't seen beforehand. Um, I'm going back, and I'm going to be telling everybody that I um, have been here and I met a truly talented group of students who I expect to either see on anchor television in Hollywood or behind the cameras and uh, I want to thank you again for this opportunity. It was really a terrific, terrific opportunity. Thank you very much. I was doing one of the cameras that was mostly focused on him and uh, you know it was a good time. I learned how to use the camera a little more when you know Jay was setting up the camera with the white balance and everything. So I learned about that finally got to do an actual project, which was good, and uh, looking forward to doing another one next week. Today was actually a lot of fun in interviewing uh, Fred Glassine and um, talking. That was actually cool, actually getting the experience. I had no idea what it was going to be like. I was really nervous at the beginning, and actually, he kind of calmed me down. He was actually really, uh, he's done it a whole bunch before, and kind of gave us some, some pointers on what to do, and just kind of let it flow, and it actually turned out to be a lot of fun in terms of the uh, good production. Today in class, I interviewed Eric Goodman, author of Flightless Goose and the novel Tracks. How did you come up with this? Actually, believe it or not, it was based or inspired by a real goose. Um, we used to live on a lake. Um, our, we had an apartment overlooking a lake. And I would sit at a desk, that, so I would, I would watch the, the mm -hmm. geese and the, the trees and the lake and everything. And there was a goose that actually did get hit by a car. And from that point on, it, it didn't fly. It, right. it, it was left behind. Uh, when the geese flew south for the winter, and the neighbors, we, we all just fed it breadcrumbs and kind of helped it survive. But um, that's kind of what wow. inspired it, a, a real goose. A real goose. I'm sure a lot of people didn't expect that. <laughs> and also, your wife helped you to um, illustrate this book. So uh, as a husband and wife team, how was it working together? It was great. You know, we, uh, we worked very well together. Uh, I basically came up with the story and, and wrote it out, and then she tried to fit illustrations to it. Sometimes I would rewrite things as she was illustrating to, to cause she would come up with ideas for really neat pictures and so it, it was it took several years but um, the story changed with along with the illustrations. But we worked very well together. Thank you for watching Digital Book Talk today with guest Eric Goodman. I'm Krista Regani. We'll see you next time. I'm Mr. Lonely. <laughs> I'm the Maytag repairman, alias Doc Chris. Yeah. I, don't, I mean, teaching is like, this is about a rat in here. Who hasn't spoken yet? Neil, have you did your thing? Neil's got to do his thing, but ladies and gentlemen, it's a rat. The last couple of classes are a joke. They, they've known this stuff for the last two weeks. It's embarrassing. They, they've learned so much. I can't coach them anymore. They're, they're just a great team. I'm going to miss them. I feel sorry for the next class because I'm going to be measuring them by these guys. And I might have them coach them, which would be really fun because I can see these guys torture people. And I got some people who will be really good at torture. I mean, Dick Cheney ain't got nothing on these people. All right, I'm out of here. <laughs>
What you hate about plastic? No, I don't say that. Yeah. Okay. We don't want to start any drama. Thanks. Thanks.